Hello. So I've made a lot of progress. I've broken the earth up into market regions. And as you can see, um, depending on the market region you pick, you'll get slightly different values out of your workplace. So if you go to the western, western United States, you get a break on materials and metals. If you go to the eastern, you get a break on manpower prices. And that, that's something that's charged almost every day, so that could be quite valuable to you. But you can go other places, like if you wanted to work in Hawaii, or if you wanted to work in the South Pacific. Um, and of course you can go anywhere you'd like on the planet. It's broken up according to my own random um, pattern, so I didn't. it's not like it's broken up by country or anything. And I'm sure that if the game ever takes off, I'll probably be more careful to break things up. But this is back in the 30s or 40s, so Europe is kind of war-torn at the moment. And I've reflected that in the prices that they are. Now you can build colonies wherever you'd want, or rather facilities anywhere you'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and build one here. And this will take me into this area and I can just build a facility like I normally would. So let's go ahead and uh, put in a light or two and some of that stuff and some of that stuff. But prices are really quite high at the moment. I haven't rebalanced them. So you can see I'm already running low on cash. So let's build the rest that we need. I've, I've actually changed it so that you can browse by subtype so you don't have to worry about going through eight kajillion different options. And you can just go through the one subtype that you're looking for. Uh, and so we're going to need a cubicle here, and we're going to use the old um, biolab booster, because the biolabs are really cheap, and the science they produce is crap, but it doesn't have any kind of complexity to it. It doesn't, re re doesn't require power or anything like that, so you can do it on the cheap. And that's good enough right there. But there are lots of other things. I got a Windows pack from the store, and it actually has some very nice windows in it. Um, it just got released. So uh, that's cool. This window is from the guy who made the windows for me uh, earlier in this week, which was uh, very nice of him, and that's certainly a window I want to keep because it's quite nice. But we also could like a door or two. How about a door? There we go. And, uh, and there we've got ourselves a little functioning base. There's nobody here yet, but people do in fact work in these regions. <laughs> you can see that the experiments are going crazy. People do in fact work in these places, and if I were to accelerate until we could see nighttime, you would definitely see that. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. I'm going to select... Yeah, so over here on the right, I can see what hour it is, and I'm going to fast forward until it is... Um, until it is time to uh, pay our, our guys, and you'll get to see their wages. Pretty close. Okay, here it comes, here it comes. Eight. Oh, I must have slowed it down a little bit more than I thought. Nine, nine, five, nine, eight, here we go. Bing. Amazing! But we also made money because we have an, a, a daily budget of 200 bucks that I didn't... Uh, I don't have the pop-up for that yet, but I will. Anyhow, the game is starting to work pretty well, and we're going to um, uh, see that more and more over the time... Over the, as time passes, we're going to see the game get better and better and better. My next step is to more closely integrate the planet with the individual bases, because uh, you can have as many bases as you'd like within one market zone.